Mike Straka, fighting words uh, for Mark Hominick. Uh, your wife, Ashley's given birth to a daughter you're gonna name Rhea just a couple days after your fight. How have you been able to stay focused on what you have to do Saturday you know, night? This is the biggest opportunity in my life. And the way we're looking at it, it's two great things that's happening. You know, we're fighting for the world title and having our first child together. So it it's definitely brings me back to my university days. You know, for four years, I, I, I competed in, in uh, Montreal with George holding the Canadian title as well as going to school and just having that structured life. There's just no downtime and every minute of every day is important and that's the way it's been for this camp. And I, you know, I'm, I'm pre prepared, I'm glad I have a very strong family support with me. How'd you come up with the name Raya? Uh, we just, we both liked it. We both like Ray for a little girl. Little girl. Uh, Jake, uh, your, your first fight against Martin Kevin, you had a really rough weight cut. What did you do different this time and how, how did that weight cut affect your performance in that Kevin fight? Um, I just did a lot of running early to get my weight down because uh, I, I definitely didn't feel good in my last fight. And how it affected my performance, I can't really say, but I didn't feel like myself, and I plan on being a completely different fighter on uh, Saturday. And is Caesar Gracie going to be in your corner? And if not, how do you adjust? Uh, I don't think Caesar could get into the country and get a Brazilian passport, but uh, Canada's a little tricky to get in to people that aren't Canadian. But, uh, you know, it'll be fine. I have my uh, team here, and everything will be just fine. Uh, Randy, you pretty much are the blueprint for what an MMA fighter can be inside and outside the octagon, author, clothing line, movies, all of that stuff. What advice can you give to these guys when they're moving up and, and we're getting towards the end of your career if you're gonna, you're gonna retire, what advice do you have to really branch out for these other guys? Well, I think first and foremost, it's the passion for what we do and I think all these guys up here have it so I don't, I don't think I can tell them anything to be honest but uh, you know, I, I, you figure out what you need in, in any given situation but first and foremost, I think you have to have that passion.